Here we are with a wonderful example of Fauvism at its best, Matisse's Woman with a Hat. Fauvism developed in France and became the first novel artistic style of the 20th century. It started with a group of young painters in Paris. At the Third Autumn Salon in Paris, France, these artists exhibited works of simple designs and shocking colors. Color combinations have been said to appear so lurid or surprising that it startled critics to a degree of giving the young painters a new name, the Fauves, also known as Wild Beasts. Thus, the Fauve movement showcased the desire of artists to develop works of intense color, shocking juxtapositions, and full expression, rather than the direct and straightforward quality of Impressionism artworks. To elaborate more on Fauve philosophy, it was the artist's job to liberate color from its descriptive function and confines and to explore the effects of color, light, and juxtapositions on emotion. Fauve strive to evoke intensely emotional reactions through revolutionary visual form, an expressive potential of color, as some call it, a release of feeling through hues and light. One of the best-known Fauve artists was Henri Matisse. While Matisse's works, along with those of other Fauves, display a tinge of post-impressionistic qualities, particularly neo-impressionistic use of color optics and juxtaposition, they lacked the scientific goals of impressionistic artwork. Fauves used colors as expressions, not as natural appearances. We can see this Fauvism movement reach fruition in Matisse's Woman with a Hat. Matisse believed firmly that color could be the main character of an artwork rather than the subject depicted. He focused his efforts to develop this concept, and with Woman with a Hat, he depicted his wife, Amelie, in such a fashion. His portrayal of his wife is unconventional. Arbitrary colors startle and shock the viewer, though we, nevertheless, find sense in dimension and form by compromising in our minds the pairing of different colors. For example, pairing green with bright yellow, strategically placed on Amelie's cheekbone, accentuate a sense of dimension and solidity, as if the sun is shining brightly and almost painfully off Amelie's cheeks. To go further, the indistinctiveness of the forms, the woman's face, hat, clothes all gather together in blotches of pink and bright green, yellow and magenta and more colors. The colors seem randomly placed, characteristic of Fauvism work. However, there's this juxtaposition between colors underlying all this supposed chaos that stimulate the viewer's response and evoke a sense of excitement and relief. This jarring contrast shifts the focus from the subject of the work to the colors and overall sentiment that are induced, which was exactly the goal of Fauves like Matisse. In Matisse's own words, what characterizes Fauvism was that we rejected imitative colors. Pure colors obtained stronger reactions. Indeed, we can see a lack of shading and blend. Rather, there's a dominance of solid, bold colors. The depiction is unnatural, and that is exactly what Matisse wanted.